So you want to make your own traction compound out of pretty much any basic household materials. The first thing I'm going to be doing, I have three test subjects here. Pretty much what you're going to need is a little container. I'm just going to use this, um, this little distilled uh, water jug. You can use any jug you want. You're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol here, 91, doesn't matter. You need, need about a quart or a liter, actually. Some original syrup. And then, obviously, the pop of your choice. I got three different ones because I'm going to be making three different ones here. Okay, three different test subjects. Okay, uh, so we got, got them. Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, and Coke. And then the same thing on my syrup. They're all the same. This is all the same. So this is the same besides the pop. So... Obviously, I'm just gonna label which one does the best when we do the actual pouring it down, lighting it, make sure it gets hot, um, and then obviously do a burnout on it with the old twin turbo LS Fox body here. Okay, so first off, we need to dump these uh, distilled water out and pretty much start getting everything mixed up. Well, hello, Mr. Frog. You want a bath? I'll give you a bath of that. All right, just get it dumped out. I should just collect this, but it's totally fine. Yeah. Come on, little Farty, drink it. Yeah, there you go. And now just do this two more times. And number three. All right, well, I guess what we could do now is start off with just pouring in our test subjects. Um, so we'll start off with Mountain Dew here, and we'll pour about, oh, I'll say about half of it in there. Oh, that's about half. And to show this is really, you know, Mountain Dew. <sighs> Told you, it's real Mountain Dew. Dr. Pepper. Good. And now our Coke, Coca-Cola. Next, we need to put in one liter of your maple syrup. So this is one liter exactly, so all I gotta do is pour this whole thing in there. Mm, it smells really good too. All right, Coca-Cola over here beside the batteries, almost done. Now let's get the Dr. Pepper over here. Yep, that's a, that's a, that's syrup. Okay, Dr. Pepper's done, now the Mountain Dew. See how high it can go up. Ooh, don't move. Ah, oh, making a mess. Okay, Mountain Dew's done. Now we need to put in one liter of this, and this is honestly super close um, to a uh, liter itself. This uh, is not, it's like point something away from it. Um, so I'm just gonna add the full entire thing of the 91% isopropyl alcohol. Ooh, got the hiccups now from all that. I want to say this is like a thinner. Um, so it's kind of thinning everything out for it. Get you a better angle. So the Mountain Dew is pretty much done. So what I'm going to do here, close it, shake it up a little. It shouldn't, pretty much what you're going to be seeing is it's going to try to um, separate okay you're not gonna see it mix it won't mix you can shake it up as much as you can Ooh. but it won't actually mix okay you're gonna let this sit overnight so Mountain Dew's done let's go ahead and add it to the Dr. Pepper the more of the isopropyl alcohol my hands are sticky now Dr. Pepper is done. We'll shake it a little bit. Let the let it breathe. Dr. Pepper's done. Move it over here. On to the Coke. Shake it up a little bit. Okay. Now that Coke is done, I'm gonna sharpie these. Uh, make sure I know which one's which. But I think I can obviously tell. It's 
especially when the Mountain Dew is lighter. And then these are two, pretty much they're, they're dark pops, obviously. Dr. Pepper, Coke, and then the Mountain Dew. So pretty much, I'm gonna let those three sit overnight um, and pretty much come back in the morning. You're supposed to let them sit for about 24 hours, um, you know, 12 to 24 hours. By, by that time, I should have everything I need to go. All right, let's go ahead and pour some out. Just a little bit, don't wanna waste it. Oh yeah, all right. I'm gonna back that up a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go, Zach. Let's see if it even lights up. Oh, a little bit. We got a little flame here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice and blue. Don't mind us. We're just trying to keep warm. Yes. Oh yeah. Look at that, Zach. She kind of fire pretty good. I think she's gonna work. Oh yeah, gotta get that nice photo for the fox body. Ooh, that's warm. Warm on my butthole. Oh, it's gone. Well, you're supposed to do a burnout first. Light it up again. You dang broke my stuff. Yep, I don't think it will catch on fire again, Zach. That sucks. But, but now, we just gotta do a burnout in it, right? Jeez. Yeah, what you gotta do a burnout? Well, I guess. Yeah, what? Oh, it's yeah. sticky. Oh, yeah. Once we get it hot enough, I think we're good. Well, I guess in the next video, you are gonna see me doing some testing. But it sucks that it still leaks. Um, but hey, it's fine for now. We got bigger things we gotta do. All right. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.